Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays with some more Link to the Past. So we just beat off the Swamp Butt Palace, rescued another maiden, got a heart container, and a crystal. So, all in all, pretty good result. Today's episode is going to revolve around me checking the map blocks. I don't know where I'm going. No, I'm kidding. Um, we're going to be collecting a goodie, and then once we get that, we will be... No, what are you doing? We will be heading towards Death Mountain. Or, I guess, whatever the Death Mountain area is in this part of the game. In the... Ooh, excuse you. In the, in the Dark World. So first things first, though. To get over there, this area of the game kind of ropes it off a little bit for some reason. I don't know why they make it an except excuse you, inaccessible. But you're going to want to come over here, and you can traverse this area a myriad of ways, but the easiest is just to come over here and use your hookshot. Knowing that is kind of tricky, though, because the game doesn't really give you a very good field of view. I'm just taking damage at the behind right now. Excuse me. We're going to head way up here, and then obviously, as you remember... Death Mountain is... Oh man, I gotta stop charging into bombs like that. I'm being so reckless. Yeah, the the game, for whatever reason, it does not uh, make this area very easy to get to. So, if you do intend to collect all the goodies, as I certainly am, you're gonna wanna traverse the path that I'm taking. Or don't. Up to you. You do whatever you want, viewers. I'm not in charge of you. I do wear the pants, but I am willing to share. I'm trying to brute force this a little bit just to get this done. There we go. Pigs are pretty good for dropping hearts if you're in need of that. But there you go. You can see the goodie in hand or at hand, whatever. My goodies, my goodies. You come in here. This is the pathway that we took to Death Mountain in the Light World. I'm not really going too deep into the cavern right now. I'm actually only going to be in here for a few more seconds. Using your newly acquired hookshot. Come in here and fill up on the monies. Switch to your magic cape. You might be thinking, how do I get past this bumper? You can sneak right past you. Give it the old Midwest. Pop outside and wouldn't you know it, viewers? It's a piece of heart. Unfortunately, pieces of heart, unlike heart containers, excuse you, do not refill any of your health. So if you are in need of that, you're going to have to find it elsewhere. And I will tell you, the dungeon that we're about to do is a bit of a doozy. The enemies are pretty tough. And of course, everything in the dark world does a ton of damages. So maybe go ahead and save yourself the headache and fill up on fairies or, you know, whatever you're into. I also love that horticulture is the answer to trident throwing pigs in their patrol cars. All right, so not getting any hearts from these, which is super cool. Just trying to top off if I can. Ooh, excuse you. There we go. All right. Yeah, this, this dungeon, I'm only doing this because I know from memory that this dungeon in particular is pretty tricky. It is... There you go, there's two fairies, we'll take that. I still have the two from last time, so I'm in decent shape. At least... health-wise. Using my sword beams to cheer me up, although sword beams... As great as they are, they don't really do a ton of damage, so you gotta kind of live with that. But nobody's gonna tell me not to enjoy them, because I will. And, uh, you know, if you don't like sword beams, that's too bad. So, like I was mentioning, this dungeon does have an overworld component to it. I don't know if many of them do, but the best way to start is right here. So, go ahead and enter the dungeon here, and you'll be experiencing... 
a couple of new enemies here. First off are Gibdos, which immediately nullify my sword beams. And as you saw, falling from the ceiling is the aptly named Wallmaster. So that's something that you're going to be seeing a lot in this dungeon. They will spawn infinitely. And if they grab you, if they grab you, they will suck you all the way back to the beginning of the dungeon. And that's not a joke. That it will happen every time and it is very annoying. So my recommendation for you is to let them spawn and then go about whatever you're trying to do. It lessens the likelihood that they'll grab you. And also in rooms like this, which are a little bit chaotic, just use your Bombos. It's kind of the instant kill for a lot of the baddies that you got in here. And of course they are very annoying. It does kill Gibdos in one shot, which I appreciate. So take advantage of that and don't be, don't be shy using those magics, okay? If you are in need of magics, the room directly to the right there with the bombable wall, you can top yourself off. So there you go. We're going to hopefully quickly push this away. Not really a big deal because of, um, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to be very careful with my use of magic and here I am just wasting it. I don't remember if these things can be torched or not. Nope. All right. So plenty of magic that I'm just burning through right now. Like an absolute buffoon. It's okay. So now that we've got the big key, which is a little strange that they give it to you so fast. Um, you can come over to this room really quick. And grab yourself a small key. We're actually going to head back the way that we came. And... Leave the dungeon in a different way. This dungeon has so many different entrances, which can be kind of frustrating. But I guess that's fun or something. I don't know. You just have to be kind of practical when you're going through this one. As much as I would recommend brute forcing it, like I try to do it every opportunity, I would not recommend it for this one. Stupid bees got in my way. I'm actually going to fall through these bushes here. And continue on. Looks like we've got a Helmosaur. A... Whatever that is. Sprite thing? I don't know. I don't remember if these are the ones that you can dispatch with the boomerang or not. Probably not. But it looks like we have a... We have sword beams. That's what we got. Okay. Great. So step on that a bunch. Get yourself a map. Everybody loves the map. One of the game's most useless items. So we've got the red variety of these weird jellyfish cosmic orb at Spencer's enemies. I don't know. I don't think we can get in here yet. We probably have to fall down from somewhere if I had to guess. Because we are so high right now. But now we can use our little key. Small key, whatever you want to call it. Come in here and attempt to take on the... Oh, man, these Gibdos are so bad. I'm going to save myself the uh, the pain and suffering and just bombos them. I'm going to use it probably a lot. I'd recommend that as long as you've got magic. Enemies will probably at least drop the little potion bottles. Usually. So you got that going for you. Oh, excuse you. There are plenty of pick upables. Sounds like Lunchables. Does anybody remember Lunchables? I say that like they're not still around and not thriving. I'm sure the Lunchables collective are doing great. Very good food to drink. Nope, eat. You don't eat. you don't drink food. Very good food to uh, eat after you've had some adult sodas. Am I speaking from experience? I don't know how to open this door. Um, well, hold on. Let's be smart about this. 
We don't want to get trapped here. Let's backtrack and see if we can find anything in the other room. I thought I saw something that I missed. Just a second here. We do have another small key, so we can't go this way. This is not what I was really thinking, though. Got these Electro Boys. Not today. Yeah, just keep collecting stuff. All right, we're going to bomb boast these guys. Even though they're all boxed and I don't trust them. Absolutely do not trust them. Take that, suckas. All right. Good haul here, actually. Plenty of items. Magics. Hearts. Okay. Another small key. Rewarded with that. And of course, keep dodging those wall masters. They are a pain in the behind. So we'll switch to arrows. Don't want to waste anything more important than that. The game's being pretty generous right now. I don't uh, trust that that'll last very long. Actually, I feel like there's another room up there that I can't get to now because I boxed myself in. I don't know if I can leave and come back. We'll find out. Hold on. Maybe I can use my magic mirror. I don't know. When I do these dungeons, I usually don't have a clue where I'm going half the time, but there it is. Yeah, I thought I saw this. There's a abominable wall here. I want to make sure I go through every nook and cranny, every Tom Nook. Okay, um, this looks dangerous. Can I sneak past you? Oh, viewers, look at that. I can sneak right past you. Okay. Was oh. <laughs> okay. What 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 are we doing here? What what is going on? I was so careful in that. All right. I get it. That's enough. That's enough of this. Stop. Mmm. The blood is boiling a little bit. No. Fool me thrice. Shame on me. Fool me. Qu four. Okay. Anyway, we're going to continue this way. Here it is. The fire rod. This rod commands the red fire. But watch your magic meter, you big doofus. Okay. So, that's pretty nice. Um, I think we should be able to use our hookshot to get out of here. We're actually almost full up on items, which is kind of interesting. Okay. So... This is the skull next to where we started coming into the dark, dark woods, lost dark woods. Yeah. So we're actually going to go back into the way that we started. Nope. Okay. I would like to just cleanly go in. Thank you. We're going to keep it moving here. Okay. Ooh, nope. Yeah, this dungeon, there's a lot of a lot of the old in and out, which D Mike loves, of course. We're going to keep moving here. It's not really easy to know where to go. A little tricky, but I'm here to guide you, of course. I think we should be able to take care of this. Um, Fossilized wiener here. It's a little suggestive. Maybe we can give a little touch of fire. Just just the tip. What do you think, viewers? You think this will work? Oh no, you set my wiener on fire. Well, don't leave your wiener hanging out in the in the dungeon. That's just selfish, really? I mean you should be on a list. All right, can I not? Uh, where am I? Oh, I'm assuming. Hold on. How do I? How did I get? What am I? Hold on. Hold on, viewers. Can I get back through here? There we go. I don't know why I decided to go down first. This game was like, nope. 
we'll come back that way. All right, so everything is horrible, as you can see, and I hate it, as you can also probably see. Can I use the hook shot here? Okay, well, you can hook shot onto that, but that's as far as you can go. So keep that in mind. I'm actually not doing super hot on the HPs here. So I'm going to try to be careful. Very, very careful. Um, okay, that's what I already did. There we go. Progress. Okay, if you could just skidoo. Ooh, yes. Love that. Love that for us. The blue ones just immediately explode. So, nope. No, you do not. Okay. Successfully navigated that room somehow. And once again, anti-Gibdo patrol. Not gonna deal with that on my own. No, thank you. And a lot of the time, as you can see, they do give you a big um, energy fill up. So, or magic, so I said energy. Get out of here. You can also use your uh, new fire rod on these goons. All right. Is that not all of them? They Do they burn out over time? They do. All right. Just a quick pop back. I don't know what the point of that was. That was kind of a stupid room. Wait, what am I stepping on? Whoa! Oh no, we're, we're a rabbit. Tricks are for kids. All right, I don't like this. Ooh, did you see that sweet shot, viewers? Nailed that Gibdo with my long rod. Uh... Nope. Can we push these? Uh, hello? Any, oop. Oh, you can you can do these. I was trying to set them on fire. All right. Well. Hello. Anyone? Okay. Looks like it's a poorly coated. Um, nope. Oh boy. It's a poorly coated vine. I would say. It's been ruined by TikTok. Okay. Let's use Bombos one more time just because I am not very trustworthy. I am running low on magics though, so I need to be careful. Just kidding. The game's like, hi, I got you, boy. Heart. Key. Very nice. It always makes me laugh when you get... I say laugh, but I didn't actually laugh. It always makes me internally laugh. Breathe out my nose a little bit harder. When you wind up getting a key in a room that you're about to use it in. Always seems a little silly to me. Nope. All right, so now that we're in here, um, I think I need to fall down into this hole. And I think this is actually the boss, so. Um, yeah, this is Moth, Mothula, Moth, Mothula, however you say his name. All right, so this, this boss sucks. Um, you can use your fire rod, which you probably should do, just because hitting this guy is a pain in the buns. There we go. I think you hit him. It's like a handful of times and he'll be dead. Not doing great on the HPs here. That's okay, I've got fairies. I made sure. Okay, I'm fine. I think I got two fairies. Hopefully. Should give me half health. If I can't finish this fight by then, then I'm just doomed. And I do have actually, uh, funnily enough, um, these dumb things are blocking my shots. I actually need to go and tap into my Mountain Dew storage. My magic medicine. I never thought I'd use it, but here we are. I got the one fairy left, so here we go. Almost done. A couple more shots. A lot more shots? I don't know. There we go. See, viewers, that wasn't too bad, huh? It's another heart container. Yeah, this this dungeon, it's a little complicated just with the way that it's set up, but it's actually kind of short, which I think is nice. So there you go. Alternatively, you can um, put on the magic cape and then just slash the thing if you want. So there you go. Another Maiden Free. This is the third of eight. 
Do we know the prophecy of the Great Cataclysm? Well, I don't believe in fate, so... Get your superstition out of my way. So there you go. Nothing is going to be able to save the world if the great hero is destroyed, but we'll be fine. So she's giving us a little bit of lore. Yes, we know. And of course, call to actions. Thanks. Yes, we understand. Jeez. There we go. Full top off. Magic. Hearts. Beautiful. We've got 14 hearts now. A new item, the Magic Rod, and the Skullwoods Palace. Done. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been A Link to the Past on Super Nintendo Sundays, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.